musicians, welcome to the intro to music, ah, uh, well, loving your instrument video. So I like to kind of tie some things in that you might already know how to do when it comes to loving and taking care of your instrument. So I want to tr you to try something. I'm going to do it with you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands, we're going to put them right in front of us on our table, and we're going to close our eyes. And you're going to listen to me and do what I say, okay? You're going to imagine what I tell you and follow the directions. So we have our hands on the table. Our eyes are closed. We're sitting up nice and straight. So I want you to visualize in your brain. You're going to imagine on the table in front of you, there is a little baby animal. Now, it's a really cute one. It could be a bunny. It could be a kitten. It could be a puppy or a chick. And I want you to show me how you would pick up the animal. So with your eyes still closed, my eyes are open on the video, but because I want to see, but you have your eyes closed. So show me how you would pick it up really carefully. So as you pick it up, I want you to bring it in too close to you to show me how you would keep it nice and safe and secure, close to your body. And you're using both hands to protect that little baby animal. And then when you are ready and you feel good about having your imaginary animal safe while you're sitting, I want you to try opening your eyes and standing up. Still making sure to keep your little baby animal very safe and very secure, close to your chest. So as you stand up, carefully holding onto your baby animal, I want you to imagine one more thing. So if some, some random giant bird of prey, like a big hawk or an eagle, tried to come and snatch your baby animal, <gasps> show me how you would protect it with your body. I, I know that some students might kick, but we need to keep both hands on our um, baby animal, right? We got to keep it safe with both hands. We can duck. We can dodge. We have to keep our animal safe. So now I want you to look at the screen. Look back at me, Miss V. Thankfully, your little baby animal survived. Hopefully, no big giant birds of prey got it. So Miss V is going to hold her instrument. What do you notice is the same about how you protected your baby animal and how Miss V is holding Wanda. If you sat, think, uh, blah, if you were thinking that I'm using both hands, you were absolutely right. I use both hands when I hold Wanda and I hold her very gently, the same way you might hold a baby animal. So we use two hands and we hold it gently close to our bodies. So hold an instrument the same way you would hold a baby animal. That's a good way to remember it. So now I want you to practice that. Pick up anything around you, maybe a, a pencil or um, a book or anything, and just practice. Imagine it's an instrument and hold it close to you, close to your body. Keep it nice and safe. And then click on to the next slide. I'll see you there.